Okay, what I wanted to go over today was the Skywater 330 PC liquid cooling system. It says it's compatible with an LGA 2011, 1366, 1156, 1155, 1150, and 775. So it could pretty well uh, handle most of the Intel boards that are still around and running right now. Uh, it also handles the AMD socket AM2 Plus, AM3, AM3 Plus. FM1 and FM2. Just initially looking at it, it comes with a radiator, it comes with some tubing, looks like some tubing clamps, uh, a couple fans, coolant, pump, reservoir, and your CPU mounting bracket. This says that it is good for a max of 450 watts of heat and uh, should be a nice little starter kit. Thing is, is let's see what's in the box. Go ahead and open this thing up and we're going to get a look at it first together. I've never opened this box up so I can't exactly say what's in it and how anything looks. So when you first open the box you can try to figure out how to pull things out of it. Um, trying to get in here. Okay, I see I've got some tubing. Got some instruction manuals here. And now let's see if the box wants to give up the innards. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and close this up real quick. Leave this over here. And we can take a look at what's in the box. Now, looks like it's pretty well uh, packed, packed pretty nice, it's got your coolant, it's got your radiator, of course the tubing comes in the outside of this, they even give a nice little funnel to fill it up with, you've got some fan connectors, looks like some uh, barbs right here for your tubing, here is a water block, with your different mounting brackets. It looks like it's got the uh, some fan grills here so you don't get your fingers on the fans and some standoffs if you need to put it on the external side of your case. Comes with some just some basic coolant. Looks like it's got a neat little uh, pump right here. Says that it does uh, it's 12 volt, 5 to 14 watts, 0.4 to 1.2 amps. We're going to have to see how many gallons per hour this thing runs. Now let's take a look at the radiator. Radiator looks pretty neat. Uh, I'd like to see how this thing performs, of course, but it's got their logo on the, the radiator. Looks like a pretty tight radiator. I wonder how many fins per inch this thing is. We're going to have to look at that as well. And it does come with a couple basic 120 millimeter fans. You can, uh, by top motor, I'm not exactly sure how these fans run, but we can look at them. There we go. Okay. So, what you have here is basically your fans, fan grills. All of the parts that you're going to need to install your cooling block. Here are parts here for your fan connectors and looks like you've got some uh, pump mounting stuff here for putting your pump on. Also, ah, look at this. They even included, look at that. This right here is a nice little bargain because this right here will allow you to be able to turn on your power supply to run your pump without having to power up your board which is of course always the best thing to do alright so included into this is going to be all of your tubing clamps so they give you all the tubing clamps that you're going to need for your little barbs and for your little tubing 
So that is going to be the initial unboxing here of just this uh, Skywater 330 and you can get this at Performance PCs and I want to thank Performance PCs for giving me the opportunity to show off this neat little starter kit. Now the great thing about this is is that this is going to cost you right around the same amount as what a typical AIO cooler or you know just a, a basic closed loop little cooler that you can buy. What I'm already thinking here just by looking at this because it does use the uh, G and a quarter threading on it is ways that of course a lot of us being modders we always like to do things a little more than what it should be and change it around to things that we want. I'm wondering if and take this real quick. See they even give you a nice little tool that you can take your little barbs off with but in the event that you eventually want to upgrade and change out your cooling system yep you can take like for example these Primo Chill uh, connectors here and use them on the cooler and then you can upgrade your cooling and use the acrylic tube to bend your acrylic and kind of add a little bit more pizzazz to it so that's also one option right there I'm seeing of course you can always upgrade and get yourself some Primo Chill coolant I'm not exactly sure how this is and what I'm going to do is in the next video I'm going to test the difference between the stock coolant and some Primo Chill coolant and see if we can get some different temp readings out of that. The other thing is is because by looking at this radiator it does have mounting on both sides. The radiator does come with two fans but what I'm thinking here is I'm always a big fan of a push-pull configuration so you can always eventually move up to a couple additional fans like these here by Lipa happen to love these little casino fans here by Lipa also you've always got your uh, options of your Bitfinex fans these are the Spectra Pros you can get any of these at uh, Performance PCs and I want to thank you for taking a look at this. I'm going to get some pictures of it and show you a little bit more detail about this. But I think they've got just about anything you're going to need within a, uh, a basic water cooling setup. So if you're looking to just kind of get into some water cooling, uh, you don't really know everything that you're going to need. This looks like it's going to be a pretty good little kit that's going to get you started. It's going to give you at least a little bit better cooling performance than your basic stock coolers and potentially your AIO coolers. So I want to thank you for taking a moment to look at this with me and let's look at some detailed pictures of this now. And while we're looking at these pictures I want to keep in mind that this is far and above something that you would get in something like a AIO cooler, an all-in-one cooler, because what this does is this gives you all of the basic components that you need to build your first water cooling loop. Now where this is a huge advantage over any AIO cooler out there on the market today is the fact that you can use these components and begin to change things out. Change out a pump and a reservoir, change out a water block, change out a a radiator, add another radiator, add another pump, add more fans. So it gives you a way to get a really good starter kit to get going in water cooling and then be able to expand from there. And that's something that none of those AIOs out there can even possibly offer you. And it gives you 450 watts of cooling power on top of it just to start out, which is fantastic for any CPU cooler out there and I'm looking forward to testing this so thank you for taking a look at this and go check this out at Performance PCs